Hey guys, this is Margarito. He hasn't been able to walk for seven months after he tried to jump a ditch at work. He's been hurting so bad, he's just dying. He tried going to Mexico to see a Wasero down there. It didn't help. He went to Kaiser. They recommended surgery for him because a hernia disc had some injections. Went to a Kaiser chiropractor, was useless, took some drugs. He brought the whole family to see him get treated. We're lowering him down on the special table here. We took some x-rays. As you can see, all the arthritis, tons of it. Adjusted his neck and his back. <laughs> Uh, this is Margarito, and he's been uh, unable to walk for about seven or eight months. He fell at work um, trying to jump over a ditch, something he's done a million times. Went to Mexico, uh, had a Mexican doctor try to help him. Uh, been to Kaiser. Kaiser um, told him that he needed surgery, gave him a bunch of injections. They turned it down. He went to a chiropractor, that a Kaiser doctor. He's taking lots of medication, and his family's all here the entire Mexican squad. He saw our original video, like I think seven years ago, the one gentleman, um, uh, Asensio, that uh, couldn't walk down the hall. And so they saw that and go, let's get him in. I'm here because I want to get cured. Uh, for what I have not being able to walk. How long have you caminas? I have five months. What can you do now? Nothing. Nothing. The interesting thing for him is he fell off a haystack when he was a young little tad. Cuando fui a Kaiser me mandaron al quiropráctico primero, a un quiropráctico. I was sent to a chiropractor first. Yeah. Like, and what they do on you? Like, ¿Qué te hicieron? Like, ¿Qué te hicieron en el quiropráctico? Nada. Nothing. <laughs> fui cinco o seis seis secciones y nada. Yeah. Five, no me six, ayudó six. nada. Did she crack your back? Did she adjust you? Te tronó la espalda, te ajustó. Nothing. ¿Qué te dijo el, el doctor de, de la cirugía? ¿Que te querían hacer la cirugía? Me dijo que me, me iba a hacer la cirugía de aquí y que no iba a quedar bien, que me iba, me iba a quitar el, el, el dolor de los pies. ¿De los nervios? De los nervios, pero el dolor de la espalda no me iba a quitar. ¿Y, y me iba a dar unos, unos, unos muletos ahí para que caminara. ¿Y luego las...? Um... Y me quería poner los pesos para caminar. Uh, leg, leg braces. Oh, so he's, he was supposed to have surgery this month. Um, he's still calling him to get surgery scheduled. Yeah, yeah. Because you know why? Ching, 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 ching. Who? Arriba. Oh, arriba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm speaking Spanish, dude. Okay. <laughs> Even though it's terrible Spanish, I'm still speaking Spanish. We gotta clean these tables. Good, 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 good. There you go, sir. Okay, just relax there. Respira lo profundo. Respira profundo, pa. Good. You okay? Okay. Good. Yeah, one more time, actually. Uno más, relax There we go. Good. A little tight on that side. Okay, just stay right here, sir. Stay. Are you good? Okay, stay. How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? Bien. Bien. Okay, let's stand up now. Sí. Every hand. Good. Just stand straight up, right here. Para tu derecha ahí. Good. And stand right over here, sir. Good. Okay. 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 How's that feel in your back, sir? ¿Cómo se siente la espalda? Bien, gusto. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's come right here, sir. No, pero la cintura no me ayuda. It says my lower back doesn't help me. Yep, of course. So how much pain in your spalda right now? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto dolor en la espalda? No, ahorita no me duele. Doesn't hurt. No. Stay right here. Okay. Okay. No, no, stop, 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 stop. Let this one Para. go. This right here. Good. Good. Okay. Sure. 
Let's just see. Take some steps. Good. You're doing good, sir. Little moss. Good. Right there. Okay. Good. Okay. Getting tired? Yeah, almost back, sir. Que nos digas cómo te sientes diferente, si te sientes diferente, cómo? Sí, pues diferente de cómo caminaba, sí. Um, different of to as how I walked, yes, like, pero cómo? Pues ya mejor, poquito mejor. A little bit better. A little better. How the strength in your legs, sir? Lo que, lo que no puedo recuperar las fuerzas de los pies, pues. I, the only thing I, I feel is uh, the strength in my legs. Oh, he says that when he when he walks, he feels like it, his um, lower, I guess, hips wobble. Wobble, that's fine. Como sin balanceo. Without balance. Without balance. He feels off balance. Yes. Here. Gotcha. And that's okay, guys, because remember, he's been off balance for a while. But again, anything different before you came in? I mean, before you walked in here, just so they know what happened with that work. Antes de que, como antes de que vinieras aquí, ¿qué diferencia sentiste de ahorita que te ajustó a ahorita que caminaste y ajustado? Oh, muchas, hija. ¿Qué sentiste? Pues mejor, me sentí mejor cuando me bajé. Más seguro. You notice anything different for him too? Yes, I'm actually um, a little bit more secure in walking because he, before coming here, um, he wouldn't even dare take a step without the walker. He walked 50 freaking steps in the parking lot yesterday. 50, I was happy with that. That's a lot more than I could ever imagine. He hasn't walked in seven months. Dinos de, um, de anoche, ¿cómo te sentiste anoche? Que describe cómo, cómo hiciste, tomaste paso afuera, ¿qué hiciste? Sí, tomar paso afuera. Más en este. Más? How much less? How much well, minus? Muy poquito, si oye. Oh, just a little bit. He could hear you just... Okay. I think he fell on his head off the haystack. Little moss, little moss, there we go again. Relate, relate. Okay, respira. Respira. Poquito, poquito más, pero. Poquito más. No es que no oigo un ruido así, no más, y en este muy. A little louder. Good. Last time? Okay. Look at you, dude. Stand on your own. Okay. <laughs> Tamina? Now try not to hold the door. Try not to hold the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get this in. Yeah. Uno más. Good. Stand, 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 stand. Can you do it? High five. <laughs> I did thought I'd knock him over. <laughs> Anyways, uh, a thousand times, a thousand times better than yesterday. He couldn't even stand on his own yesterday. So I'm adjusting the chair. I don't usually do this early, but I really hate the way his shoulders are. He has more pain on the left side when I push on him. He has pain down to his uh, hand on the left, so a lot of referral pain. Um, I just pushed on his shoulder, so I forgot to even videotape, so we're just going to get the adjustment right now. Okay, latte. Good. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. This left side, I really want to know if it goes, because down on the table, it never goes. Okay. Take my time here. Okay. Ow! Just a tiny bit again, so that left side is the problem. Ask me if, uh, um, Mariado? Dizzy? Does Mariado pa? No. Okay. One handed this time. One handed back here. Una mano no más. Andale. Una mano no más. Si. Agarrate bien del. Good boy. Good boy. Confía en ti mismo, pa. Good boy. <laughs> One more. Good, right there. Good. So I'm real proud of this guy. Doing really good. ¿Qué tal mejor estás de cuando viniste hasta ahorita? Mucho ya. 
<risa> ¿Mucha qué? Muchas mejoras. ¿Cómo qué? ¿En qué? Overall. Ya me siento más, más tranquilo, güey. Camino más y, y no caminaba antes. Más, más fuerte. Más, fu más fuerzas. The 50% more. Gotcha. And so we also want to know, he said about taking a shower. I want to hear this, what he said about taking a shower. Oh, de, oh, de lo que dijiste que cuando te bañabas antes, ¿no podías qué? No me podía bañar solo, yo estaba, pa, no me podía parar. Okay. Y ahorita me paro y un ratito y me siento en la silla, mm -hmm. bien. Pero tú solo. Yo solo. So tell what's what he said. Uh, he said before I could not take a shower on my own, um, I couldn't stand up. Um, now um, I am taking a shower on my own, standing up. If I have to rest, I sit down, but... But he can do it on his own now. Yeah. No, pues antes no podía subirme a la troca. Estaba que me pucharan y ahora no. Ahora yo solo me subo. Okay, before I could not get on the truck, I needed somebody to um, push, give me an extra push. And now, now I'll do it on my own. We're just shimmying down the hallway to go check the x-rays out. I hope you guys enjoy these long format x-ray talks. Uh, I really enjoy sharing them with you, so check it out. This pink line is the middle of his body. Okay, What you want to look for is where is his head compared to the middle of his body. You can see how it's leaning to the left. Okay, It's leaning 6.4 millimeters. However, his right shoulder is lower and his right shoulder is 7.3 millimeters lower. That makes no sense. And because normally, whichever way the head falls, the shoulder will fall like this. Mm -hmm. But he's like this, and his head's like this. Mm -hmm. So tremendous amount of tension in his body to do that. And so this is why he's at the point he's at, because that is a discrepancy that makes it difficult for him to work. Mm -hmm. It's just the balance is off, okay? Uh, 10 degree curve in the middle of his neck here. Lots of arthritis on the left side of his uh, low, uh, mid back over here. Mm -hmm. The other thing too is, is this pink line right here, his head is tilted like this. Mm -hmm. So again, this just tells me how much discrepancy of what normal is. Most people who come with pain are going the same way. Like I said, he's going opposite ways, which means it takes a lot of pressure to do that. Yeah. Okay. You want to tell me that kind of stuff? Okay. Pero um, tu hombro izquierdo está más, más um, bajo. bajo, entonces cuando estás, tienes la cabeza para la derecha, el, usualmente el, el hombro derecho es el que se baja, el, el, tus hombros están haciendo lo contrario, entonces mm -hmm. quiere decir que eso, eso es mucho um, strain, uh, Pressure. Yeah, presión para tu cuerpo y tienes una, un, este, una curva en, en tu cuello, este, ¿qué más? y también dice que tu cabeza no está puesta. Okay alineada la, la línea um, rosita uh -huh. quiere decir que está un poco ladeado tu, tu cabeza está como uh, tons of arthritis in his low back these four arrows are all pointed as arthritis um, very very worn out very dis disintegrated so this tells me how many years he's had problems with his back he's had problems with his back 30 years easy 40 years and so this is evidence of that is this causing his pain? Absolutely not, but this is a symptom of the pain. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help. Um, this was st is stopping us from getting them better faster, but this is why his legs are giving out right here. And see how narrow this is? See how narrow? Arthritis, these are wider up here. And I'll show you on the side view, you'll see much more, but this is completely worn out. Can you tell them that? Okay, que dice esos, esos um, las cuatro flechitas están apuntando a toda la artritis que tienes. Este, esa artritis me está diciendo de que no es de ahorita. Has tenido problemas con tu espalda por 40 años o más. Este, um, y si miras no está, no tiene mucho de separación porque es, es, es este desgastación de todos los años. Mm -hmm. um, okay. No es, um, esto no es causa de por qué no camines, pero sí contribuye. Uh, left leg's a little shorter than the right leg, a little bit of pelvic rotation, but this is nothing compared to this. El pie izquierdo está un poquito uh, más corto que el, el derecho, um, pero no tiene nada que ver, pues. Black space, black space. See, there's no black space here anymore. None right here. These are phase three, phase, I'm going to say phase four arthritis. This is as bad as it gets. And so this is what they want to do surgery on. They saw this, they go, oh, we need to do surgery because he's... His discs are herniated back there. The arthritis is completely shutting off his nerve flow to his legs. And so this is why they think that there's no hope for him. And as you guys can see, we're giving him hope back. He is standing on his feet right now. Because why? 
I'm not fixing his arthritis. What I'm doing, I'm just making him better able to live with it. Mm -hmm. You can tell him that. Okay, I si miras los um, discos de arriba están un poco más separados, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero donde está, donde empieza la primera um, flechita, mm -hmm. es donde no tienes espacio, ahí es donde te querían hacer la cirugía. Sí. Este, que porque vieron eso, han de haber dicho, oh, tienen un nervio um, apachurrado allí, pero que él um, no, no te va a curar los discos, pero sí te, vas, uh, te está enseñando uh, maneras de cómo puedes este, vivir con la artritis que tienes, porque tienes una artritis, el artritis avanzado, pues como eso es lo peor que se puede hacer de la artritis. The curve should look like this curve, this pink, this yellow line, but it um, it does to a certain extent, but it's all because it's worn out so much. Let me show you the problems I see here. This arrow points to a growth in the back of his head. That's just evidence of long-standing problems. This atlas is at least half to three quarters worn out. Why is it worn out? If you see, it's it's, well, I'll show you a close up. If you see, it's really narrow and this bottom is flat. It's supposed to be a round bubble back here. And it's flat because this bone is ground away that bone. And so it's completely grounded away like sandpaper. And that takes years and years to disintegrate like that. Why is that important? Well, the more this grinds away, the more it impacts the brainstem. And that brainstem is what we're talking about. And so he feels this all the time. It sounds like sandpaper when he moves his head back and forth. Here. He can hear that, and he just keeps wearing that bone out on that bone. Why is that again important? Because it influences the uh, brainstem. You know, tell him that. Okay, que tu cuello debería estar como la línea cur curvada esa, la, la amarilla. Mm -hmm. Pero sí, sí está hasta cierto punto, pero que no, no muy bien, porque um, la primera línea, la primera flechita, flechita que está hacia afuera, um, has crecido como un... What is it? Like a, what, what it's atlas, it's the top bone in his neck. No, the growth. The, the growth, this growth over here? Yeah. That's a bone growing into the muscle. Um, es uh, hueso creciendo dentro de, del músculo. Y entonces, este, allí donde me dices, donde le, le hizo más grande, allí ese huesito debería estar um, redondo. Y no está redondo porque está desgastado de que no has, no has estado um, caminando proporcionado uh, correctamente y cada vez que volteas hacia los lados tú la escuchas que se que se, ha estado, se está rebanando pues como quien dice cada que volteas o lo que sea this neck is completely worn out right here see the space right here that's good that's bad see so these bones are all worn out here so uh, tremendous amount of neck pressure and that's wearing out his body his body is wearing out exponentially fast even probably older than he is it's really bad okay because of all this pressure, his teeth, look at those teeth. So I only point this out because when you have tremendous amount of pressure in your neck, you grind your teeth, you clench your teeth, you pulverize your teeth. And you can see he's lost all his teeth, not because of bacteria, not because of just gingivitis, that kind of stuff. It's because he pulverized his teeth because his neck has hurt for so long. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, you tell him that. Hey guys, just wrapping up the x-ray talk here. We're going to head back to the room, do a new adjustment. I hope you guys appreciate that. I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think of these long format x-ray talks? I've been doing a lot lately. Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. So your neck should look like this. Así se debería ver tu cuello. Okay. Sí. See the angle of here, this? Sí. ¿Ves el ángulo? Your sí. angle's right on your neck. Mm -hmm. It's just this is too close. So see how round this is? It should be round like this and straight. Yours looks like that. Okay. Miras cómo está de separado? Sí, sí. El ángulo está bien, pero um, el huesito ese, ya ves cómo está de redondo? Pues el tuyo está más um, desgastado. And then the bones, if you look at the bones, you well, take a look at your x-rays later, come back and look at this. They're all worn out. See how big and wide these joints are? Yours aren't wide anymore, so the nerves are getting pinched, all the positions off. It all needs work. But you can see what yours looks like versus what it's supposed to look like this. Okay, this is just to compare how they look at the tuyos. You see how they are separated, the bones in front. Your tuyos are also separated from one another. Stop!
for this science moment. We're talking about arthritis today. Arthritis is the abnormal wearing of joints that cause distortion of the disc space and the bones that can't be changed. So let me show you what arthritis looks like. Here's a good spine and here's the worst. And you can see the different phases that people pass through. So we can tell how bad somebody is by following where they are on this continuum. The analogy I like to use is tires on a car. If your car is misaligned, what will happen to those tires? Well, they'll start balding on the inside or the outside. So what can you do on a car? You can replace the tires, but on the human body, you can't. And that's arthritis. Here's another example of arthritis and how it progresses. Good spine leads to a bad one, bad one, worse, worse, worse. And you end up over here if you do nothing about it. I hope this educational moment was helpful. Jump started his uh, treatment and I'm on his atlas now. Just to kind of get things going because I could feel that he wasn't making any progress fast enough. So we tried to spur things up. I think he walked a lot better after my atlas adjustment. But I'll let you guys judge for yourself after we adjust him again. Wow, that actually went. Um, uh, the left side hasn't been going. That's another reason why I tried to um, jumpstart his care uh, because it wasn't moving the other adjustments I gave. So I wanted to make sure I got something moving so it can. <laughs> this man has to. Whoa, look at. Do you see him pop up? Yeah. <laughs> Woo wee. Let's go, dude. Mm -hmm. I think I got that one. Scooch it. Scooch it. <laughs> he said, I, I was standing for a long time. That's why. Oh. <laughs> That's what I got. I got that. I got that. Nueva palabra para él. Escucha. Escucha. Margarito. Sí. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> ¿Cómo te sientes después del miércoles, papá? Comparación al miércoles, ¿cómo te estás sintiendo? Oh, más bien. Yes. Pues más relajado de todo. More relaxed of everything. The no más fuerzas en los pies He's también. stronger now. ¿Cuántas este, sentadillas estás haciendo? Diles cuántas. Ayer, ayer hice 130. 30. Yes, yesterday yeah. he did 130. 130. He's been doing a lot of walking now, back and forth. Before he couldn't even stand and walk on his own. Now he's trying and going for it. Good. And so we're going to do a prone um, P to A, L3 adjustment on him and uh, see if we can release some more of his low back because the arthritis is so bad there. Okay, guys? So, Boca Bajos, por favor. If you remember the first day, guys, the first day I had to use the table, bring the table up so he could stand on it. And now he's just jumping on the table by himself. Okay. So I'm going to contact L3 down here. And again, you guys never see this happen. Uh, especially on a new patient like this, but his arthritis is so severe and the way he's moving, I think he needs this, so uh, we'll see how he does. Relate los hombros. Relate. Respira profunda. Abre la boca. You can already hear it going, guys. Okay, listen. Do you feel that? Did you guys hear that? That was huge. Huge. Relate. Okay. Yeah. Al pasito. Let's see. 4.30 available. Um, otherwise, uh, Tuesday at 10. Okay, stop. Bien. Más que bien. Más Better. Way better. Mm -hmm. That was it. Yeah, you never know. So much better, sir. Seven. See you guys next time.